Yo right there guys, this is Cobb and we have some new Warlords of Draenor Alpha patch notes so I'm gonna get straight into them, give some opinions and hopefully be replying to a lot of you guys in the comments below, so let me know what you think too. The links to all of these stuff I'm talking about are in the description, check them out if you wanna read up a little bit more on them yourself as I won't be covering everything. First of all we have some new secondary stats and a secondary stat is of course something like crit or haste and in Warlords we're gonna have bonus armor, multi strike and readiness so three new secondary stats are coming in presumably to replace hit and expertise rating which are going to be removed. So first off bonus armor basically increases your armor on an item so that one's fairly simple and uh, multi strike gives your spells and abilities a chance to fire again in a double cast after you've cast them for 30% of the original power very similar to elemental shaman mastery. This one definitely has my interest peaked and um, it definitely sounds like a very very fun secondary stat I'm not sure how useful it will end up being uh, on most classes it does affect both healing and damage which is definitely something to consider and another thing that comes to mind are damage and healing over time abilities and how they are going to behave. If an affliction warlock gets a multi strike proc on unstable affliction two dots are not applied and um, if I read this right rather the dot will tick for two sets of damage similar to shadow priest mastery every time the UA ticks a smaller 30% tick will accompany it. I can't wait to try this one though as soon as I get the chance even if it doesn't become a staff parody in the end uh, it will be fun to stack it and just step around for sure. And finally readiness will reduce the cooldowns on certain class abilities with lengthy cooldowns and I'm not completely sure how I feel about this one and um, it is really going to depend on which abilities it does affect for each class. For example as a Destro lock I wouldn't find myself very interested at all um, if for me readiness reduced the cooldown on my dark regen and uh, my health stone or my unending resolve but I would be very excited the potential of this stat if stacking it reduced the cooldown of my Shadow Fury, Mortal Coil or Havoc. That would actually be pretty awesome. So I really think that the value of this stat will be determined by your class and spec and whether you PvE or PvP because of course a lot of abilities that are great in PvE are useless in PvP and vice versa. Now there are five additional attributes being added that I think I've covered before um, and these include Avoidance, Inspiration, Leech, Speed and Steadiness. However these stats have been described as one of three rare bonus properties on gear. The other two bonus properties can be extra item levels or gem slots. There is a link in the description going over these in a bit more detail but I won't be covering them a whole lot here as I am 99% convinced that these will be PvE stats only. It does mention here that every piece of Warlord's gear that is looted or crafted has a small chance to come with one of these five stats attached to it. PvP gear is all purchased from a vendor and while you could maybe buy the gear and when it appears in your bag it has a tiny chance to have one of these five stats on it. Um, that to me just isn't really logical, that would mean that if you wanted uh, the top gear in the game you would have to purchase the same item over and over again just hoping that this time it will come with a cool new stat and it just doesn't really make much sense to me but again check it out for yourself, the link is down below. Next up some more updates on the ability pruning, um, a lot of disc and holy priests were really really annoyed that Blizzard had gone and deprived them of their shadow wear death meaning they could no longer death polymorphs, scatters and other CCs that break on damage. However there is a new glyph for holy and disc that adds a self damaging component to the spell holy fire which even though I don't play healing priest I really really appreciate this a lot and um, it would have been easy for Blizzard to ignore the PvPs on this one but they have compensated for the removal of shadow wear death here. Those warlocks are losing howl of terror as a baseline spell and howl will once again be a level 30 talent replacing demonic breath which is being removed. I can't say I have too many objections about this, I would have loved to see Demonic Breath go baseline though, it is a strong slow that is tricky to use well and it looks awesome so even though I would never spec into it now, I do really like the ability, I loved it throughout Wrath of the Lich King when it was baseline, it was just never as good as Shadow Fury or Mortal Coil and now it is going to get the axe. Big change coming in for Warriors with the removal of Shield Wall for Arms and Fury specs, the ability is now only available to Pro Warriors and I think I like this. I would have much rather seen the removal of the passive 20% damage mitigation that defensive stance applies, but in arenas Warriors are very 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 tanky, and at least to me is a Destro look and with removal of a lot of CC, I'm glad that they're going to be a little bit squishier. Now further down this page there are a ton of class changes, most of them are minor, but some of them are definitely worth knowing, for example Hunters can now cast aimed shot while on the move, Echo of the Elements for Shamans has been redesigned too, uh, when a procs it resets the cooldown on certain spells. Uh, no updates for Warlocks though, 
which I guess makes me both happy and sad. But anyways, the notes are definitely worth a read. Again, I won't be covering everything here, there is a lot of white noise in those patch notes. Anyways, do definitely leave any comments or thoughts down below, and we're going to get back to you on them. Thanks for watching everyone. Really, really appreciate you all stopping by. I hope you're all having an awesome Sunday. Stay destro, and I'll catch you all a little bit later.